What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Yulaine. I'm the owner of What LBE. All right, y'all, so I'm back with another gift idea, gift design, and I'm going to be using these baskets that I picked up from my local Aldi's. Um, these were part of the Halloween um, fall collection, and now that we're going to Christmas, they decided to go ahead and mark them down. They marked them down one little bit to like $7.99, and then I was like, no, I'm going to wait it out. And I'm glad I did because they ended up marking them down to $2.49. Um, and they had the small ones were a double pack. They're called the farmhouse baskets. Um, the dimensions are 15 inches, um, long, 12 inches wide and three inches in height. Um, so they're pretty nice size baskets. I also got the really, really large ones as well. They're downstairs. I need to bring them up here. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys a gift as gift design for your wine lovers and people that, um, enjoy a little wine. Um, for the holidays and things like that and I'm gonna use lots of these baskets I've already snipped uh, a set separate and I have one going right now that I have lined with um, some craft paper um, and then I'm also going to add in my natural basket filler um, I, you can get these very large bags of basket filler from your local world market um, when I tell y'all this stuff is worth it now they used to be uh, $4.99 but of course with inflation they went up to $6.99 however $6.99 is still not that bad um, so what I'm going in now is I just want to lay down a nice little um, layer of it and I'm going to go back in and fill in the basket even more once I um, get the items in here um, and this is going to be simple as you all can tell I don't know if you guys are noticing that i don't use a lot of items in baskets unless it's like pertaining to um a specific order or something like that um but i normally don't use a lot of items to fill a basket sometimes it don't take all of that so don't think that you have to put a million things if somebody tells you their budget is ninety dollars or a hundred dollars that doesn't mean you have to put 50 million things in there because you want it to look like $100. No, it's how you design it is what makes it look like $100. Somebody can tell me their budget was $25, but I guarantee you any gift that I create is not going to be looking like it was worth $25. Or that they spent $25. That's the whole point of being a full-on, 100% basket designer. You want to make every gift that you create, no matter what the budget is, look way more than what the customer paid for it. That is the object objective of this whole thing. You don't ever want to give them anything, okay? You want to give them a, you want to create a moment, an illusion, a, 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 a picture of excellence. <laughs> so, I'm seriously though, like I'm laughing, but I'm so serious. You do not want to give them just anything. So don't think that you have to go to the Dollar Tree, get 50 million things to make a basket look great, okay? Um, simple things. I'm using a bottle of wine, two wine glasses, and I use one of the little boxes that I showed you guys that uh, has a little hook on it. The hook's on the back of the wine. Well, I just basically folded it down. I could have cut it off, but I didn't. I folded it down and I glue dotted it down to the back of the box. So I, this just gives them a little treat along with the wine. Simple, easy concept, okay? This is not going to break your bank. You can go to your local grocery stores or whatever, and you can pick up an inexpensive bottle of wine. Now, I'm not saying the one I'm using is inexpensive, but I'm just letting you know. You can go pick up an inexpensive bottle. This is a gift, okay? Um, you can pick up an inexpensive bottle of wine. Go to the Dollar Tree, pick you up some really nice wine glasses, as you can see, or Walmart. They have the ones that are plastic, that are uh, not breakable or whatever. Um, they have those for like $3, I think, or something like that. Um, you can go pick up those, put it in a nice basket, and say Merry Christmas, and you haven't even broke the bank. You And sometimes you can get you can make this whole thing work without spending no more than 10 or 15 bucks. And this is a cool secret Santa gift that you can create for one of your co-workers, your boss, whoever. And don't break the bank, okay? So anyway, I'm going to add in the bottle of wine. And then I'm going to go in and I want to add in my wine glasses. Trying to make sure they lay down flat. 
And then you want to make sure the wine bottle is face forward so they can read what, what kind of wine it is. But yeah, y'all know y'all got them sisters and them aunties that like that inexpensive wine. Baby, this is all it takes, okay? Alright, next I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill in the gaps. Okay, our little chocolate is going to go up here in the top corner. I'm trying to make sure I cover the surrounding portion of this box. Okay. So go in there just like that, and then you just want to go around and fill in the rest of the holes. You don't want your craft paper showing or none of that situation going on. Um, this stuff can be a little messy. I've advised that on numerous occasions. So beware of that, but it gives you a great, great high-end look on a low budget. Okay. Always give your customers 100% no matter how much they're paying. Oh, they're only paying $15. Well, you better make that gift look like it was worth $30. And you can do it. All it takes is a little wrapping or a little effort in the design. It don't take effort in putting 12 million things in there. A lot of people, you know, ask all the time, how do you make gifts that are less than $20? Look, listen. You put in one or two things and you, and you design it with embellishments and things like that and make it look like a million bucks okay it's not easy it takes a lot of practice but you'll get it all right so now that we have this together this is basically what it looks like and this is all that's going to go go down in this basket Make sure all my craft paper is covered. And y'all see what I mean? Like, I haven't even really broke a hole in this bag. And I've already opened this bag and used it on other projects. So, if you don't have a world market, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love, 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 love world market. They have some unique uh, um, chocolate and, and desserts and, and food from all over the world. And it's easy to create a basket for anybody of any ethnicity. Ethnicity. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. So, lastly, of course, this desires a corkscrew. I took it out the pack. These are the ones that I picked up from um, my local Family Dollar for uh, what was it? Fifty cents? Yeah, fifty cents. And then I'm just going to slide that down at the bottom, like so. And then we have a little embellishment because this is a holiday gift. And that is it, y'all simple and to the point okay now I do need to add a little bit more straight in because I don't want the glass flashing too much against the bottle so I'm gonna see if I can slide in a little fusion in between the two on both sides just a little bit I mean it's gonna flash a little bit but I don't want to flash too much All right, y'all. And this is pretty much it. Again, this is how it looks. Simple, easy, to the point. You don't have to add in a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I'm hoping they're going to fit in my shrink wrap bags. And I think they will. 
These are, I want to say these are my 20 by 20s. Yeah. And yes, we're going to shrink wrap this. I'm like, what? Ever eat using shrink wrap? Well, yeah, I always use shrink wrap when it comes to glass. Or a lot of glass anyway. Some glass, some, some bottles, if I'm, you know, gifting something with a little bit of bottle or something like that, I probably won't. But it just depends. But I want this to say a flat concept. So. All right, y'all. So I'm going to cut off a little bit of the extras because I don't want too much of the bulky uh, wrap. All right, y'all. So I've cut off the, the extra plastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. I'm going to start with the middle. And then bring it up under the gift. And then I'm going to tape down the sides. And then we're going to heat shrink this and put our bow on. And we are good to go. y'all so now that we have it shrink wrapped um i'm going to just go in and wrap it like i normally do oh hold on sometimes you see that little extra spot on there Alright, again y'all, the simple the simple balls go a long way. I apologize for Max barking. My husband just got home from work. And there you are. A simple, easy DIY wine gift basket that did not break the bank um, and does not cost you a lot to create. As long as you have a nice size basket, you can make it do what it do. Okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next video. Peace.